Well, if you need to find a present for a friend who is a foodie, you could do worse than gift wrap one of these. And finally, the candy floss maker by Doghouse is the present for sticky finger fiends. With a range of fun ingredients, just add your own bouncy castle to create all the fun of the fair. Now, my little present to myself is Chef Frank Bordoni. Frank, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, you're doing a soup today. I and am. is this, is this a, a dish that you've cooked many times before? It is actually. I've, I've jazzed it up a bit, but the basis of it is a, is a wonderful potato and watercress soup. I think it's got a great flavour. And it's just, it's simple, but one of those things, you know, that's so simple, but the taste is so good. And you were telling me that you uh, used to make this in a certain restaurant. I, I did actually. I, I learned to make this soup in the Gavroche. And it was many, many years ago, and I couldn't believe how simple it was, but how much they sold it for. It was incredible. I Which was? I think it was somewhere in the region of about 10, 15 pounds a bowl <gasps> at the time, and that's going back a few years. God. So but we're getting it for free today you from are, you, Frank. absolutely. Fantastic. All right, so and there you have it, my potato and watercress soup with smoked trout, plump raisins and pine nuts. Here you go, Beverly. Let's see if this is worth uh, 10, 15 pounds of your money. Oh, it better be good for that. I'm sure it will be. Here we go. Look how bright green it is. It's amazing, isn't it, how, how vivid the colour oh, stays as well. Beautiful. And smoked trout. Why does that work so well in this dish, do you think? And is it readily available? It is. I mean, you can buy smoked trout in any shop, supermarket, fishmongers. It's readily available in markets. It, it, you can actually buy it clean fillets like, like we had it, so there's no work at all. Mm. And I think it just has an incredible flavour. Mm. I mean, it's a relatively inexpensive fish, and we don't, I don't think we eat really as much trout because we're all frightened of the bones, aren't we? Buying it smoked like this is an easy way to, to do it, and it's a quick cook. It's fabulous. It's a dish. It's a meal in itself, isn't it, really? Mm. That's a dish. It's beautiful, Frank. Beautiful. I'd pay £15 for it. Only if you <laughs> made it. All right, well, still to come on Taste, the city for the style conscious. We take a tour of Amsterdam and supper for the style conscious, an elegant black dinner party menu courtesy of Alex Best. Now, where else would you find that? Frank now with dish number two. Right, I'm... Here you go. I bet you've never had spring onions tied in knots before. It's very chefy for you, this friend, it's isn't it? <laughs> nice to see you it's finally gotta be, got your act together. It's got to be done at some time, hasn't it? It looks very pretty. It does. Is this, I think of, is this kind of thing you would cook at home if you were entertaining? It is actually, yeah. I mean, it, it's relatively quite simple, isn't it? Because you're roasting the, the duck. Mm. You know, the garnishes you can kind of do beforehand, so mm. you're not having to do everything last minute. Like it's absolutely delicious. It's so yummy and very gamey and mm. just rich and intense and sweet. And you don't have that same fattiness, do you, that you tend no. to get with other ducks? Beautiful, beautiful. I haven't tried your little you. knots yet, so I'll get to those <laughs> in a minute. OK, all of Frank's recipes are available on the website, of course, skyone.co.uk forward slash taste or on Sky Text page 710. Welcome back. Still to come, Frank Bordoni makes a very fanciable chocolate fondant and some words of culinary wisdom from Angio. Frank is here now and it's dessert time, but you can't so eat many desserts. Look at the size of you. <laughs> I do, unfortunately. <laughs> um, this is one of my favourite desserts, actually. It's a chocolate fondant, which is one of those puddings that just oozes mm. soft melted chocolate when you when you burst it and i'm serving it with a lovely praline cream so fantastic total decadence oh it's all mine go for it <laughs> so that's what we frank you make it look so easy but where could, <laughs> where would we mere mortals go wrong with this dish where could we go wrong well with this i dish? think it's actually all in the cooking let me uh bring you this put over it's all in the cooking okay so the great thing about this is you can make this mix up put it in the pots and leave it in the fridge for several days mm -hmm. so you know you can make up a batch or you can do it in advance then you need to, to work out your oven it's round about somewhere between six minutes and ten minutes according to your oven mm -hmm. and how cold the mixture is when it goes in but it's it's really easy to do you only need to do it maybe once or twice check it after six check it after eight minutes and you'll know exactly how to cook it for your oven right. with with your dishes I mean what you're looking for is we've got one here that we haven't turned out is you're looking for that to set just enough so it holds mm. its shape and then you can see as you cut into it you've got this lovely gooey Still it is gooey softness and it's gorgeous oh. you've got to watch your teeth on those nuts though haven't you you do <laughs> you could have warned me but you know the thing you're so saying much. about <laughs> yeah i'll get the bill later <laughs> the thing you say about you know 
being fattening. Actually, mm. it's not because we're using eggs and sugar. And okay, there's sugar in it. Um, but the chocolate is really good quality. And we're not using lots of flour or anything yeah. like that. So, so it's brilliant. As always, you're genius. Thank you. You've got chocolate on your teeth. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. <laughs> Please join us next time. Remember, if you eat, you need taste. Let me see.